Well, welcome back friends to my fall decorating series. Today we are going to be decorating a two-tiered tray and I have a little bit of a fall haul to share with you. This haul is going to be coming to you from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Ross, and some thrifting. So if you love hauls and you love decorating, especially those tiered trays, then you're going to want to stick around for today's video. Okay, so this is my decor table again. I still have everything out and I'm hoping to get all of this done this weekend. So let me show you what I have added to my fall collection. It's all over the place, so I may not be able to do it all from Hobby Lobby, all from Ross. I'll just show you collectively what I got. Okay, we'll start right here. I got this cute little cutting board for when it's time to decorate the kitchen. I have a place that I keep my cutting boards and I like to change out the ones in the front for each season. So this will be the one for the fall. And that was $5.49 and of course their fall is 40% off right now. Also from Hobby Lobby, I picked up this little box of different houses. They all light up. It was a regular $23.99, so I paid close to $12 for that. Okay, another thing that I got is this little bag of acorns and miniature pine cones. This also is from Hobby Lobby for $4.99. And I have a glass jar that I'm planning on putting these in. And then I got this sweet little squirrel. This little squirrel was $3.49, full price. And they had two different poses, but I thought this one was cute. This black lantern house, I got at Goodwill. It was $4.49 and that was at full price. I thought it would be cute on the porch. I have a black lantern and I thought maybe for Halloween, put like an orange glowing light in there or something. I don't know. Who knows where it'll end up. This pumpkin here, it of course opens. It had a rubber seal on it, but it was very, very tight. So I took it off. I'm going to remove the lid. Um, it was $6.99. Again, that was from Ross. Uh, from Hobby Lobby, I picked up another little thing of pumpkins. And oops, let me see. These were... $10.99, but 40% off of that. Also from Ross, I picked up this vanilla pumpkin reed diffuser. I thought I could put that in my bathroom. From Walmart, I got this basket of orange sunflowers. You'll see that I have a little orange sunflower arrangement that I got from Hobby Lobby, and this matches it perfectly. And then from uh, Walmart, I got this Sherpa pumpkin. It was, oh, I don't remember. I don't think it was very much. I think it was like $12 maybe. And I don't remember on this either. Sorry about that. From Hobby Lobby, I got two of these picks. I've just got to put it all together and start decorating. So let's go ahead and grab that tiered tray and let me see if my ideas will actually work. Now, my idea is to keep this little jar here and I'm gonna fill it with those miniature pine cones. They had a lot of different options. They had some that had the white acorns and then they had some that had yellow and green but I felt that these were the more natural versions, so these are the ones that I chose. I'm using my Christmas scissors here. And I'm just gonna put this right back where it was on the top shelf. I almost feel like I need to fill this in with something because it's so deep but I'm gonna keep on see how it does now with this little plant I got this at Dollar General they were only a dollar each I'm just gonna pull this right out and hopefully be able to stick 
the new one right in its place. Okay. Now, although this little pot is really cute, I have this picture that I thrifted. I have a weakness for so many things and pictures are one of them. I think it's so cute. I think, let's see. I think I paid $1.99 for it, something like that. But I'm gonna try to put this in there and maybe it won't show. Good, it fit. And now, if I can just get this to fit, we'll be in business. Perfect. And then the last little thing on the top shelf is gonna be our little Mr. Squirrel. I may for sure have to get something to put little Mr. Squirrel on because he's definitely hiding down in there. But I'm just so glad that all of this fit. This is a really small tray. Okay, now let's work on the bottom. I believe I'm gonna leave this home sweet home sign there because it is the right colors for fall. But I'm gonna remove it for just a second. And I'm gonna trade this out like I did the other one. Perfect. And we're just gonna stick that right back here. Now because I have the flowers on top or on the right side, on the bottom, I'm gonna put them on the left just to balance out the tray. Now I'm gonna put this in the middle now. It's probably gonna block it a little bit, but you get the idea. I think everyone will figure out what it actually says. And now I wanna put our little, this was a pumpkin pick and I just pulled the pick out of the bottom. Hopefully that'll fit right there. Uh-oh. Okay. And that is gonna be that. The only thing that I feel this needs is some little something here in the middle. Let me see if I have something that we can put there. Okay, well the sun is really beaming in, so I'm gonna turn this tray around and we can work on it from a different direction. I did find a little scarecrow that we might be able to fit Okay, here's the little scarecrow that I found, but I'm afraid she's gonna be a little too big to put here on the bottom. She's cute and she adds color, but she's blocking the sign. So I'm going to trade her with Mr. Squirrel and put her right there on top. And then I just have a water bottle lid. I'm gonna put right there to set Mr. Squirrel on. Now, let's see, can you see this? Now, you're gonna be able to see the back side of this coming out of my living room. So even though the scarecrow kind of blocks this jar in the front, you can still see it from the side and the back. So I'm gonna turn it back around. And let's take a look at it. Actually, I think I need to put some acorns back here. Probably in front of the sign too. Well, if you stuck around till this point in the video, and if you're not subscribed, I sure hope that you'll go ahead and do so now. For those of you that are already subscribed, I appreciate your support so, so much. I can't even tell you how much I truly appreciate you. And if you'd like to continue to show your support, the easiest way to do that is just to give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, let's take a look at it from the front door. Do you think the top would look better without the scarecrow?
Okay, so this is what the tray looks like when you come in the front door. You can see the Home Sweet Home sign. We've got Mr. Squirrel down there. On the top, we've got the little scarecrow lady in the front with our pitcher of flowers. And in the back, we have our miniature pine cones and acorn jar. I did have an incident when I went off camera. The lid came off and it shattered everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is just arrange these a little better. I'm gonna add an extra one right there on top like that. And that's gonna be our tiered tray. I hope that you're enjoying my fall decorating series. For some of you, this may be a little late in the season, but this is the fall season, and I'm decorating in real time. So anytime you wanna just kick up your feet, grab a cozy drink, and soak in all those fall vibes, be sure to tune in, because I have some good decorating inspiration headed your way. That's gonna do it for this one, though. So have a blessed rest of your day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye.